your pie is ready to go into the oven. This is the part that turns confident first time pizza makers into either heroes or defeated warriors at the gates of Mordor. Your pie is ready to go. Your oven is as hot as possible and is loaded with your baking, stone, or steel. You're using parchment paper or cornmeal. You have good oven mitts or gloves and a set of long tongs ready to go. A lot of the baking process depends on your oven. The key is to get it as hot as possible and consistently throughout. If you have a convection setting, this is a good time to use it. Depending on where your heating elements and broiler are, try to position your stone or steel so it can get the most heat to the bottom of the pie as possible. Cooking the top will happen with the broiler. Give the peel a shake to make sure the pie can slide around. Place the farthest side of the peel on the farthest edge of the stone. Give the pie a little shake so that the far edge catches, then tilt the peel at a slight angle and just pull back. Close the door as fast as possible and wait. Depending on how hot your oven is, give it a minute or two before peeking and seeing if it's cooking. Use the tongs to rotate it once. Pull the parchment out at this point. Once the bottom looks cooked, turn the broiler on and get the pie a couple inches away from it. Do not walk away at this point. It should only take another 15 to 20 seconds to get a nice char on the top and the edges. Slide the peel under and pull the pie out. Transfer it to a cutting board for the next and best part. Here it is, your beautiful pizza. You made this! Drizzle some more olive oil, sprinkle some cheese. Give it a minute to cool off and let the cheese set. Then wheel it and deal it. The most important rule of making pizza at home, the chef always gets the first slice. Pro tips! Know your oven. This will take time, but the better you learn where and how to get your oven hot, the better the pizza will be. Use your broiler. Char to us is one of the big differences between typical home pizza and restaurants. And make sure to give it a sec before you dig in. If you learned a little or a lot from this video, check out the rest of the series, or just skip straight to being a pizza professional and buy the pizza book today.